Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Have another great day in this video. I'm at my new house slash new crypto mining location and I just literally painted the whole floor here. If you guys haven't seen my last previous house update videos, I have been slaving away here over the past, I would say past week now. And you know, things are getting pretty close where my house is getting ready to pretty much be able to move in, in terms of the upstairs. And so right now it's like, you guys will see this video probably six hours after, uh, you know, I guess uh, after I edit it, after I make this video, I have been really working hard. I've been working at this house, you know, painting, getting everything ready, not only down here, but upstairs as well for not only for me, but for my family as well. So it's getting really busy. And so I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, if you're watching this video, uh, this is really nothing mining related. This is just an update for <laughs> you guys that are interested in, I guess, my house. It's just like a vlog or something. If you were hoping to see something mining related, you can close the video, but maybe I will talk about, uh, you know, what I'm gonna be doing in these rooms. And I'm gonna need advice from you guys, especially from the floor that I just painted here, okay, with the, I guess, concrete paint. And it, it sticks pretty well. It sticks pretty well, but one thing I was looking at is if I should get some sort of like epoxy kit. And that's something that you guys can me give me some uh, feedback on. I have never done anything like that. And so I like, I was looking at Home Depot and they had some like, you know, epoxy kits, like full epoxy kit. And you basically just, yeah, you just put it all over. It's like a clear top coat so that the top would be, I guess, sealed in a way. And so instead of, I guess you guys can tell the difference here that I have the concrete paint on this side. And then on this side, it's just, it's just the bare concrete, which, you know, I just painted over all the imperfections in here. I did my best to use soap and water, clean up the concrete as best as I could, let it dry. And obviously the smell now, it's, it's kind of, it just smells like soap. But when I painted on this side, I found that the smell is now gone. Uh, right now I'm, I'm just breathing in paint fumes, so that's probably not good. But yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice in here. I'm extremely excited that I think this room is just gonna be like storage and uh, maybe I'll have a, a computer or something in here and maybe a mining rig or two just to heat up this this area, maybe I'll need like a couple mining rigs. I don't, I'm not quite sure. It's a pretty decent sized room here and uh, you guys can probably hear the echo as well. But guys, I wanna talk about more. I can't forget today's video sponsor. Established in 2017, OctoMiner is an international mining hardware company. They manufacture and engineer the best mining equipment in the industry and supply rigs to some of the largest mining farms around the world. Their GPU mining rigs also integrate with the top crypto operating systems like HiveOS, MinerStat, and Simple Mining. All parts come with an international one-year warranty. Exciting news! They will be adding ASIC miners for sale to their website soon and launching a new product built specifically for ASIC home miners. Please visit octominer.com or email support at octominer.com for questions. All right, guys. So you can probably see here for those that are keeping up to date of my house here, I just ran a 120 volt, 15 amp like circuit, a dedicated circuit just for my server rack. All right, so you guys know I do have a 240 volt, 30 amp right now, which is running my trip light PDU, 240 volt, 30 amp PDU. Most of my networking equipment can be run on 240 volt, so that's all well and good. But unfortunately, the reason why I ran this 15 amp circuit is so that it can run my ISP based modem here that uh, you guys know I don't have fiber but I have coaxial uh, which goes into that and then the ethernet uh, then goes into the uh, Dream Machine Pro. Okay, that is what distributes the internet when you know, IP addresses, all that stuff, everything for my network, security cameras, Wi-Fi, everything, right? So that was pretty easy to do, honestly, and it goes into the 200 amp circuit panel, which I have two, which you guys know I have 400 amp service, 
And you know, eventually I will need to run uh, two 40 volt, 30 amp plugs for, I guess, my mining rigs, all right? So that's where uh, once I paint this and maybe seal it, again, let me know. You guys that are, I don't know, garage floor professionals, please let me know uh, what you guys use for your garage floor, like top coat, sealant, epoxy kit, whatever. Uh, flakes as well, do I need some sort of flake to make it like non-slippery or whatever? I, I don't know, I haven't done much research. I mean, I have, but I just, <laughs> I've never done it before, so getting some opinion from you guys uh, will be really helpful. You guys are probably wondering what this line is over here, and that is basically a addition to the house before and there used to be a wall here, so they took that out, and it's it's basically a bump of like rock concrete there, you can see there. I know I had a few comments from some people saying, Red Panda, you should just get a jackhammer and just, you know, crumble it all up and make it, you know, flat as best as possible and then fill it with uh, concrete of some sort or mortar or homemade whatever, I don't know what the, I don't know what the process is to do something like that. I've never done that before, but if you guys let me know if it's pretty easy to just get a jackhammer or I don't know, crush the rock or I, I don't know, you know, make it lower obviously than what the concrete floor is here. And then if I can easily make, I don't know, a bucket of concrete myself and then just put it in, is that easy to do? Let me know. Let me know down below if I, if I should do that or if I should just, paint over it with the concrete paint that I have, the permacrete that just goes all over. And uh, yeah, cause I did paint over one of the uh, concrete wall, like you see the bump over there. And also if we go over here, there is a little addition here, right? So you can see here that I painted over the wall there and obviously there's this part here, which is in front of my server rack, which is really unfortunate. Again, is this something that I can do myself? Can I jackhammer this or something and then level it down? But another issue is, uh, which I did get some feedback from some of you guys in the first vlog that I did in this place, is that this, this part of the concrete is actually lower than this part of the concrete over on this side here, okay? So thinking about it now, I really don't think I'm gonna invest my time into fixing this. I think it's fine. Uh, you guys can let me know, but I, I honestly think it's fine. I, I'm not a concrete expert and I don't think I have the, the mental capacity to deal with something like this. So I think I'm just going to paint over everything here, but I can't wait for the contractor comments. I, I love reading everyone's comments and uh, everyone's expertise when it comes to anything, you know, home renovation. I, I love it, right? I, I'm seriously learning a lot. You guys all know that. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously not an expert in any of this kind of stuff and uh, I'm just more so like an IT guy So this is just something that I've been really enjoying. I think I've expressed that before and uh, you know This is something that I've been just going about now for the past couple weeks here and I know maybe uh, My content here has been kind of wavering over the past couple weeks But uh, to be honest, I know most of you guys understand and then there's gonna be some of you that uh, I have been seeing comments like repent what's happened to your content. It's just like this is why okay Hopefully most of you guys can understand what I'm just what I'm doing right now I'm really trying to get my house ready And so I'm just gonna let you all know if you made it this far of the video I'm probably gonna have just more vlogs like this over the next couple days because I really have to focus on getting this all ready and I, I really want to start moving stuff in here, okay? So uh, if you guys don't like that or I don't know, you're expecting some other types of videos, I, I will do my best, but to be honest, I'm, I'm probably just gonna vlog like this for the next week or maybe two weeks to be honest because I really, start, I really gotta start moving stuff in because uh, where I'm living right now, it's not, uh, it's not very uh, feasible. If I can show you guys where my uh, gaming, like editing computer is right now, where I do my videos, it's like in a corner and a bunch of boxes around me and really no space and it, it feels, it feels pretty bad. I'm hoping to get a little computer in here as well. Uh, I think I expressed that in this room, but a little station where in the meantime, while the upstairs is almost done, pretty much almost done, I can set up some, a little like home base here and yeah, just start doing stuff and maybe also move some of my mining rigs over into there. Okay, that's, uh, I do have some ideas, uh, some little like iPolos or jazz miners or whatever that can go 
into uh, my server rack here. So that will be uh, a fun little video, obviously. But uh, all right, guys, I'm, I'm out of breath. I've been working all day. It's literally midnight. This video that you're watching right now is gonna go up in the next six hours, I think. Uh, my upload schedule is like 6 a.m. Pacific. So anyways, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one and peace out. Please let me know, guys. Any ideas if should I should I seal the floor? Let me know. Let me know. And don't worry, I didn't use this brush and I, I didn't paint the whole floor with a brush, okay? I did use a roller, okay, in case some people were wondering. Alright, don't don't yell at me at the comments.